from our perspective and if al-'arifuna billah those people who have knowledge of god have already reached this position hmm. uh, well it's a big question uh, um, It's said that you can only know God to the degree that you know yourself. And in these <clears throat> nights that we've been here, I, I pray that Allah accept from us uh, you know, this effort and that He bless all of you and that He give you knowledge that grows in your hearts and is meaningful to you and that is correct. But when we are talking about possible being and necessary being and God is not in us and He's not out of us, He's not to the right and the left, what are we really talking about? We're really talking about us. We're saying that we have got to understand how we are, what we are, where we are, you know, uh, uh, the reality of ourselves and the world of analogy that we live in. And by understanding that we are this way and God is not that way and that this is the nature of our contingency, of our complete dependency upon Him, you know, then we understand God in a way which is acceptable, which puts down a foundation that is powerful. Okay, so this is also part of knowing God through knowing ourselves. In you know, knowing about necessary being that we can never fathom. By understanding the realities of possible being that we do understand. So this is very important and in understanding the human being there are many things to understand. Human beings are very special. Human beings uh, have a place in the universe that nothing else has. But nevertheless, the most basic thing that we have to understand about ourselves is the complete contingency of ourselves. You know, you are also the most remarkable thing in the universe. You are the one in whom all the names of God are manifest. You are the microcosm, the little world. world. Al-alim as In fact, the big world around you, it's not complete without you in it. Okay? So human beings are great and they have tremendous capacity. And when they believe in God and they are illuminated by the belief in God, they transform the world. You know, we say that the believer, the son and daughter of Adam, who truly believe and who realize that in themselves, they become Ruh al kalm They are the spirit of the world. The world comes to life through them. So these are amazing things. And in, as the human being perfects himself or herself, then you become even the macrocosm. And the, might, and the world is like a microcosm. But this is not the knowledge that is basic about us. This is like a crown and the only access to that crown is one of complete humility and complete honesty, uh, honesty about who we are in essence. So in essence, أَنَا ذَلِيلٌ فَقِيرٌ ضَعِيفٌ عَاجِزٌ إِلَىٰ آخره. That I am insignificant and I am weak and I am incapable and I am totally contingent. فَقِيرٌ Okay, and when we know that, and we are no longer deluded by our abilities, our gifts, our families, our wealth, our social position, and things like that, then we begin to see the miracle of how God works with us in life. And we see all of the good things that we have as gifts that are given by Him. So this is a big door of Ma'rifah. It is the basic door of Ma'rifah. And it's also called Mushahada, the witnessing of God in our lives. And this knowledge of God is something that grows and grows and never ends. It is absolutely beautiful. And it is the meaning of the garden and the fire that grows and grows and grows in the knowledge of the One, in all of His majesty and all of His beauty and all of His perfection.